Good morning, Leo. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Leo, this is your May 2024 reading. We are halfway through the month already. Uh, this is going to be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus cross watcher. If that is you, welcome to the channel as well. You guys, discern the messages as always. Um, if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, that's cool too, right? We, we know how this goes. Uh, for those of you who have liked, shared, subscribed, and commented to the channel, thank you all so very much for your love and support. Those who have donated, booked personal reads, you guys are fabulous. Thank you. Um, and if you are interested in personal readings, that information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. So with that, Leo, let's jump into your reading, see what's going on for you. It's been a while since I got one out for you guys specifically. So let's see what's happening for you at this time. <clears throat> uh, belonging. I was going to, you know, it, sometimes I wish I would speak faster. Um this is, uh, we'll call it a sense of self. It is something that makes your heart feel good. This is heart. This is home. This is family. This is connectivity. This is connecting to your children. Um, there, there's a lot around child energy, five, five and a 10 here. So stepping into exploring possibilities of what comes once you open up the heart space, Leo, um, but then there's the struggle of, okay, Leo, you're so confidently in yourself, right? Like doing things on your terms, your way. I wasn't going to pull these many cards. Um, you're trying to, you know, if this is relation to love, right? Like we know if you followed me for a while, I don't get into the love stuff too much unless spirit is like, here you go. Well, kind of, sort of, here you go, right? Um you guys always seem to have this struggle, at least with me, this is what I pick up on a lot for you all, of <clears throat> this balance of yourself versus incorporating other things into your world, things that are requiring change of you. Um, you're kind of like, these are the rules that I have. These are the uh, restrictions that I flow by. This is the boundary. Uh, this is my organized way of doing. This is my schedule. This is my, my whatever. However you run your day, Leo, this is all about your structures and how they are affecting your home life, your romantic life, and who you identify yourself as. And it's like when those things start to open up for you, um, you tend to kind of want to shut it back down. Uh, you've got this obedience and this rigid card. This, uh, it's like, eh, I'm going to sit here and watch and wait. I'm going to keep in the confines of my, um, my schedule, my way of doing, my way of being, and I'm just going to stay home. I'm just going to do these certain things, um, and it's kind of, Spirit is saying there, there is a need here to reignite the soul. When you are feeling that energy, you tend to want to shut it down with this rigid. Um, you know, your belonging is, as much as you are a part of your home space, your, your way of being and doing, there is a longing in that. For something more but it's like I'm going to put up <clears throat> these rules and regulations around me that doesn't permit for those things so this can be a restriction spirit is saying around communication restriction to allowing yourself to open up to other ways and it's funny because you're showing up confident but you know this is the thing like when you look at her with this horse she's shushing it She's shushing that confident part. It's like that horse should be leading the way, right? She should be horseback riding that horse onward and forward. It gives me the idea of the chariot. But instead, she's just like, shh, don't say anything. Don't address it. We live just fine standing behind the fence rather than going out beyond that fence and seeing what else is out there. Um, and I do feel like that is creating some kind of restriction here, Leo, whether this is 
via the means of something creative, whether this is relationships, whether this is jobs. It's like you're you're really very firm in who you are. Um, but it's like the confident Leo that you could aspire to be, you're shutting that down. Like the way you're showing that out to the external world. It's like, I'm just going to be quiet about this instead. So um, let's see. Certainty. Yeah. It's, I feel like you're questioning mastery. Yeah, it's like self-mastery. Leo, you can only, and I've seen that, I've seen this time and again for you guys. Um, I feel like the only sense of security you often feel like you have is being in a world that you have created that you have complete control over. Like, you're like, I've learned to master myself. And, and I feel like for, for you that when you're in this, in this place, like you're restricting yourself from living. Okay. So it's like not just living, but healing Leo, if whatever reason you have gotten into this spot of kind of boxing yourself in and going, this is my work schedule. This is my daily schedule. This is what time I eat dinner every day. Um, it has become a fixation of having control of your day with no hiccups along the way and going, I know what's going on this week and this is how I've planned for this and not allowing yourself any wiggle room. And it's coming from a space, spirit keeps bringing in this idea of fear and control, fear and control. A lot of you, I'm going to go back a hot second, right? Unstable childhoods. Something from the past, the six, that has taught you to stifle that confidence. Taught you to just keep it at bay and go, I know what's going on here for me. If I incorporate anything else or anyone else, this could cause massive influx to the routine that I have, to what I know is going to happen. It's like there's a massive fear of unpredictability. Like, our lives are constantly changing, Leo, right? There's always something that's happening that creates change, but it's like some of you, I think, are handling it better than others, um, but not necessarily processing it the right way. <clears throat> More so, you're letting it live beneath the surface. So into the exterior world, the, the external world, um, you may seem like you are mastering it all internally there's a little bit of a shit storm of brewing right um so you need to be aware of, of that energy that comes in with that because it's me when you're subduing this energy of ideas change allowing yourself to live in the moment to be flexible with anything that comes in you're stifling your ability to process prior emotions to situations and you're creating roadblocks and resistance and speed bumps, Spirit is saying. So it's like you're going to have to hurdle some of these challenges from the past that are tied to the home and before. Because it's like you've learned how to create a world that is all of your own. You've learned to advance yourself uh, in the sense that you are no longer a part of something from before you've created, you know, so if you come from a, a space where, I don't know, home, home growing up just wasn't a safe space, you've created that for yourself. But part of that is that you've done it so long on your own that the idea of letting somebody in full-fledged or a job or a creative process or believing in your own abilities has been, again, stifled. With this belonging comes freedom, the need for freedom, the need, like you're feeling this push, like some of you could be getting out more, some of you could be socializing more, some of you could be stepping into something more, right? Um, and I feel like it's like dipping your toes in the, you know, in the tub going, is this water hot, too hot for me to get in? You're dipping your toes in the water, Leo, but you're not allowing yourself to take that plunge. The fear, the fragility of the mind that keeps you up at night, nine of swords kind of energy, is, is the thing that is subduing you or you're allowing it to subdue you. Um, 
if you, the spirit is talking about advancement. If you want advancement in your world, if you want to live in this space of freedom, you're going to have to be willing to take the risk and subdue the fear rather than the confidence that you have within you. Because it's kind of like you're wanting to be completely certain to how everything is going to play out, how it's going to work out, why it's going to work out that way. You, you, it's like you need to compartmentalize every single thing and have a full understanding of it and be able to see 50 years down the line before you invest into anything that you're uncertain of. You know, the certainty, phrenology, <clears throat> there's a lot here around like, I'm going to call it blockages in the sense like you look at these, these windows, they're squares, right? There's a block in, in this one, a block there, a block there, a block there. Like there's all these, these blocks <clears throat> and it's like, I'm seeing these as building blocks to the foundation in which you've already created, but then the blockage now is getting past what you've already created so that you can step into something new. And you look at this phrenology card too. It's like, it's like disassociation with the self. Like I've got to put this here. I've got to put this here. I've got to put, it's almost like you're looking over yourself. You're can try to control yourself. You're trying to master that self here, you know, with, with everything going, I need to have control. I need to be able to master this, this wheel of fortune. And the one thing that you're blocking out is the sensitivity to being able to feel the experience rather than trying to control it, put it in a box and saying, this is the way it has to fit. Learn to let go, okay? Um, there's, it's, it's, it's a very, that in itself is a very rigid energy of this is, this is my world, my box, my whatever. Um, but the soul here, the soul is craving freedom, Leo. So it's, you know, like boxing yourself in here. Um, okay, let's see. Strength, there you are with the moon, the subconscious, the fears, the duality. You know, Gemini season is around the corner and it won't be long into, and there's this emotional confusion, but I want happiness, right? There's the star, healing, wish fulfillment. Um, there is this energy that I think that as Gemini season approaches, Leo, you're going to be, you, this may be where this nudge to be more social is coming in. This may be, you know, looking at both sides when I really want to go shopping. I really want to go have coffee with this person. I really want to go visit or travel these certain places. I, I want to do these things, right? Um, and it's like, well, wait a second. Do you remember when you were 13 and you took that trip and everything just went to shit. So why would you take that risk? And I'm gonna say to you, as I as I say that, that 13 popped up on the on the time. I just happened to look up and see that. Uh, ironically enough, I've got the death card t-shirt on, 13 also. So 13 could be a very significant number um, for you. And talking about traveling, talking about distance the need to explore, the need to venture, the need to make a choice, the need to take the path, you know, less traveled, if you will, 10 of pentacles. Um, some of you may want to make plans. Some of you may be wanting to travel to some place, you know, going off and seeing these new horizons, these new territories, exploring the world. And there's this fear that surrounds this. And I really do feel like Leo, this all stems back to childhood. Whatever this hold up is, whatever this pause is, whatever this, you know, like if every time you step into this new thing, it's taking you back into a time when you maybe have had a similar experience of activity. It's all about the activity for you that when I did this, this is how this went. And there's a negative experience attached to that memory can't look at it as every single thing is always going to be the same. Part of this too, in this exploration for some of you, I feel like as you realize that if you open those doors to new pathways, on the other side of that is going to be an emotional experience that you're going to have to resolve yourself to. You may feel yourself getting like, feeling nostalgia, questioning like, if you want to feel those emotions, if I go back to a certain place. So this could even just be, you know, let's just say you went, 
you know, anywhere at some point. And again, that place was, you know, you, maybe you loved the place, but you had a really shitty experience with the person or the people you were with, or, you know, maybe it was just someone that worked in that area or something. And it's like, if I go back to that place, that means I'm going to remember that. And I don't want to remember that. It's almost like you're trying to suppress memories. The things that you have put on a shelf, the things that you have pushed into the back of the mind, the things that you're like, oh, this is for, for this and this is for that. It's like your head became a filing cabinet for the good and the bad. And it's like, you've got the good, you've got the bad, and then you've got the daily activities of everything that you do going, well, here's my lunch schedule, here's my dinner schedule, here's my work schedule, here's my kid's schedule, here's my sleep schedule. It's like everything is divided into its own thing and you're trying to master all of these things and keep them separate. They all should be working in tandem together for divine flow. Okay, I hope that's making sense for you guys. <clears throat> Spirits are dreaming of something more and the internal conflict of the five of wands that comes in with that. Again, that internal fear, that internal struggle. Um, it's like almost... This, you can call it a competing energy, right, with that five of wands. But this competition, Leo, isn't outside of you. This is within you. It's within your own thoughts. It's within your own vision, again, of all of the things that could go wrong. Leo, I'm going to tell you the same thing that I tell a lot of my clients. Instead of going into this space of what could go wrong, ask the universe, ask spirit, what can go right? Show me what can go right so I don't feel like I'm climbing over myself. It's like almost like your, your mind becomes this place your emotions become this place that that in itself is competitive it's like i want to feel good but if i feel good then i'm potentially being set up for a massive letdown you know if, if i do these things if i have these feelings there's as much of a con as there is a pro for me and how can you have an experience how can you be present? How can you be aware just for the experience to do this healing work? So it's it's like your, your heart is wanting more. Your head is going into fight mode with itself and going, we're just going to organize this. A lot about organization. Organize it this way. And then the heart starts to kind of stumble over itself, remembering all of the things that didn't go so well. So future energy for leo please spirit knight of wands there's so much ace of ace of swords there's so much about you that wants to live that wants to kick up your heels queen of swords but it's like let's analyze this to death let's let's find the truth of the matter tuck away these emotions because that's that's an easier thing to, to do to hold back and i do feel like maybe you could be dealing with somebody who tends to hold back those emotions too um, there could be a lot of, you know, if this is partnership, Leo, there could be a lot around the home space. And I'm going to say like in the regards of what structures you have built versus the structures of another person in which they've built. For some of you, not all of you, it's like trying to decipher the truth as to what you want versus what the other person wants. The interesting thing here is I think that this is... Not necessarily a reflective energy. It's not like you're mirroring each other wholeheartedly, but I feel like the desires of what is wanted is the same, but you're coming from different places. Um, I do feel like the idea of just having fun is simple as that. You know, girls just don't want to have fun. Like that's, that's pretty much the feel here with this future energy. Um, if that's the only thing that you gain in whatever this experience is, you're creating new positive memories rather than the old ones that make you feel some kind of way, that strike a chord, strike a nerve, hurt your feelings, whatever. Allow yourself to build more positive memories. Stop boxing it into, well, there was this situation and that situation. Um, some of you could be sorting through boxes in your home, going through old memories. Spirit is also saying, side note, if some of you had recently gotten divorced or some of you could have been divorced five, six, seven, ten years where you had just taken things, dumped them in a box, pushed them in the back of a closet and said, I don't even want to look at this. Some of you could be starting to go through old memories. 
some of you could be unpacking some of that stuff. It's almost like your heart, again, is starting to open up to some extent that it's like, I want to start. Some of you are going to want to start to sort or feeling this nudge. I know some of you, I could feel you like I've got this vision of this box, right? So maybe some old pictures, maybe some childhood memorabilia, something like that. And I can see someone looking at a few small pictures going, oh yeah. And then it's kind of like a pause. Do I stop and just tuck this away? Do I want to deal with this? Um, but it's like, there's this gut feeling of, I need to purge. I need to cleanse. I need to remove these things. So a lot of you are kind of you know, grappling with this mental energy right now. Um, of, it's like, whatever is coming up in your external world uh, is reflecting something back to you that's wanting you to start to unpack all the shit of the past so that you can have a more free open life to have these experiences that are positive memories rather than the negatives okay so it's it's a heavy energy in a way um but at the same time it is also for the sake of your forward growth and movement so I said to you back here with that obedience, it was giving me the nine of swords energy. And I've got a blank space here, dead center of my table right here around all these cards. And spirit said, you know, to get one of these cards to go down in the center, the nine of swords comes out. That is that mental grappling of what action do I take now? Where do I go? What if I do this? What if I do that? What if it all turns out wrong? Replaying these events in your head from the past but not realizing the potential that sits with this if you open yourself up to this change. If you start to unpack that shit, if you start to create new memories, right? Like, this is a weird, a weird analogy, but I'm gonna say this to you. It's like, I don't know why I'm gonna use it. This is such, I don't even, I'm trying to think of a better example and I have none. If you take a bottle of water you dump one of those Kool-Aid packets in it, and let's just say it's grape flavored, so it's purple now. And you, you drink half of it, you know, it was a dark purple, and then you pour fresh water in it, it becomes clear, right? Like if you only have half of the pop bottle, this is a, t a terrible, I don't even know why, terrible analogy, but here it is. So <clears throat> if you drink it halfway down, and then you dilute it, right? It's like every time you're having a clear, clean, new, refreshed experience. The mud, the muck, the purple, the grape, the whatever, it's becoming clearer. Allow yourself to have those experiences because it's gonna, it doesn't wash away the past, Leo, but it teaches you that better things are to come. It's allowing you to have a positive experience Maybe for the first time in certain situations, maybe to reiterate to you how wonderful things can be. Something here is coming in to help wash, cleanse, and purify the memories, the anxiety, the restlessness, okay? The strength card clarifying the strength card. Leo, heavy, heavy, heavy you. Again, this idea of mastery, I'm gonna say like, I don't know why I'm also getting some of you, side note, telling your animals to zip it. <laughs> like, you see she's mastering this lion. You've got the lion here three times over. What's she doing? She's silencing. And it could be you silencing your inner demon, right? Like, you trying to silence the negative self-talk. You trying to just go, it's, it's going to be okay. Some self-soothing self activity. Trying to allow yourself to mature and stabilize. It's like you've worked really hard, Leo, to get to where you are. Um, and it's like, I just wanna make sure that I'm not gonna knock myself off. And you're not. Star energy here with that star and the high priestess, four of swords. Again, I said earlier, and I'm gonna reiterate this with the four of swords and the high priestess sitting there. There is an awareness that if you go out and have these experiences, you're going to be forced to do some healing work. There, it's going to bring, with this page of cups, emotions to the surface. 
that you're going to have to start to address. You're going to have to start to deal with. You're going to have to start to review those things and really work through those. And it's like, I have found my sense of calm. I have found my sense of peace within. But I'm going to tell you, Leo, that it's like a false sense of security in regards to that peace. Because you can compartmentalize this shit all you want to, but it still lives within. This is for the sake of your healing work so that you can step up to the next level. You've leveled out for some time. <laughs> whether this is in a job, whether this is in a relationship or without relationships, um, maybe certain family situations where you just learned how to be accepting of and not push against the grain, not create any you know ripples or you know, ruffling of the feathers. You've plateaued in whatever this is and now it's time to evolve. Okay, Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, everything that's mother. <sighs> Ten of Swords, the Lovers, the Fool, the Devil, the Five of Wands. <sighs> There's that rigid energy. Spirit is saying to you, stop listening to piss poor advice. If you've got that friend who had a bad experience... And they're like, man, you go out with her or a girl, you know, you go out with that guy. Like, you know, my, my ex looked just like him or maybe there's a name association or something like that. Like, that's the devil within either you or someone else talking about this and creating more of this fear. Okay? It's like you have a choice to start off new and it's like in order to have these experiences, you have to face your own demons. I'm not really seeing this Ten of Swords and this Devil and this Five of Wands as a bad thing as much as it could be. But this is you trying to control the past hurts. This is you trying to navigate things on your own terms rather than allowing that experience. Leo, it's time to allow this new experience to happen. It's the next two weeks, Spirit is saying, for some of you up to seven weeks. You're going to be working through this energy and it's necessary. I do feel like for some of you, you could feel like less confident than you should be because it's like you may feel like if you're seeing somebody or talking to somebody, um, you may feel like they are see they have other options or other choices or they playing games or the idea around gameplay. And you're like, if I stay in my own lane, I know there's no games. Like I know what's going on. Job-wise, maybe they're hiring other people or something, and it's like, well, they get away with this. What the hell is happening here? Like, why why am I not a part of whatever this is? So, you know, again, place this where it fits. It doesn't have to be love or, 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 or yeah, love, relationships, career, but it's definitely something. Ask yourself where that fear is. Ask yourself where you're feeling the need to control and keep things a certain way for the sake of of what you think is your mental health, okay? Because that's where this work needs to be done. All right, let's see. Advice for Leo spirit. Abundance. Who held had that? Was that Gemini, I think, had abundance? Check out Gemini's reading. If you got Gemini placements, maybe. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Abundance. Healthy choices. Shock. What is this shock about? You guys are scared to death of getting hurt. Scared to death of getting hurt. Um, you know, it's like, again, you have, I'm going to reiterate this. I, some of you in the past at some point, potentially childhood, you can call it narcissist, you can call it crazy people, you can call it whatever you want to, slice it how you want to. Or a lot of the things that you've been involved in, you have been one-sided. And I think that you know, I don't think that you've necessarily turned into a narcissist. I think we all have narcissistic tendencies. It's just a matter of not whether we feed that devil. Um, but I think that you've gotten very comfortable in your side. You're, you know, you've become one-sided in the sense of for the sake of your own peace and your own stability. Okay. And it has created abundance to a point. It's creating those healthy boundaries. It's counting your blessings. It's making healthier choices for yourself. It's being mindful of the things that you're doing, what you're saying, you know, what you're ingesting, all of these things. But then when this other thing, this new thing, this, this cat, um, this new thing comes in that's requiring you to commit to a new way of living, 
that alters <laughs> that alters your reality. It's like you weren't expecting something to come in and require more of you. And in this, it's like you're fighting. You're you're fighting that requirement of yourself. Um, I feel like both sides, it's like of a situation. Both want to make some moves to carefully plan something. Um, but is it being led by the heart instead of the head? Okay. So Leo, I, I really do feel like the next couple of weeks, like that's going to be your focus is healing that heart. Like stop requiring everything to be laid out in plans. Open yourself up, step outside of that box that you've created for yourself. Um, this is an intermeshing. It's um, energetically like the waves crossing over, like crossing paths or something. Um, th there's an intertwining of energies here. And you can't intertwine those energies if you're sitting in a box. Okay? So whatever that means for you, you're going to know better than I do at this point because I'm reading for so many of you. Let go of the fear. Let go of the past. Make new choices. Take the risks. Okay? He's super excited this morning. It's running. There you go. <laughs> he confirms. He confirms the same. All right, Leo. I'm going to leave it there. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment. I hope this video helped you. Personal reads are open and available. That information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. Um, and uh, I'm wishing you guys all the best and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.